Hi everybody, I'm Constance Arnold, uh, your success coach, and I'm going to share with you how I manifested or God blessed me with $100,000. And I'm going to teach you how you can begin to do the same in your own life. <clears throat> but before I get started, let me just thank you for coming to listen to my YouTube channel and please subscribe. Tell some of your friends or families or co-workers about it. It's all about empowering. I am a master's level professional counselor for 25 years and a certified coach. I coach people on five continents currently and I am the host of on got that out. I am the host <laughs> of the Think Believe and Manifest talk show on the Law of Attraction Radio Network for the past eleven years. And as you can see, you can browse below and I have over four hundred audio and video recordings for your empowerment. So after you hear uh, what I'm going to share today and you want to hear more of my teaching or some of the teaching or interviews with New York Times bestselling authors, you can nourish your body, soul, and spirit by doing so. So let me just share. Uh, let me say first of all that I believe that everybody has their own individualized, customized pathway to abundance, to wealth, to prosperity. So I'm just going to share with you my pathway. Um, you can take the nuggets that you hear and apply them to your own life. So, you know, I'm on the Law of Attraction Radio Network and everybody wants to know about money. How can I manifest more money? And boy, have I interviewed some of the Grace Jack Canfield, Lisa Nichols, Dr. John D. Martini, Dr. Dennis Kimbrough, Think and Grow Rich, A Black Choice. You can listen to all of those uh, on my YouTube channel. But let me tell you my story. You know, all of us are born for abundance. We know that we're supposed to have it. But about 20 years ago, <clears throat> just before I started my leadership and training business, I was desperate for money. I was a professional counselor uh, in Atlanta Public Schools, but I was living paycheck to paycheck, and that was because I was spending more than uh, I was really making. I always had this lavish, rich mind, and God gave that to me, but you really have to use wisdom with it. So I was just desperate for money. I'm like, okay, God, what's the deal? I'm a Christian. I see all these people rich. Why isn't it happening to me? And the first principle that I'm going to share is that uh, uh, success and prosperity is always inside out. And you're always co-creating with God. You know, I say God, a lot of people say source, higher power, whatever you want to say. But it's you and this unlimited power that's co-creating that desires to bring you wealth and abundance. So I was frantic. I was afraid. I was anxious. I couldn't sleep at night. I had knots in my stomach. So one day I felt like the spirit said, or you might say, uh, one day I just got this nudge, this idea. The spirit said, a girlfriend, I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> Go in your office and sit still. And looking back now, I realized that everything the Spirit led me to do, it was because God was trying to align me with the wealth and the prosperity and the abundance that was already mine. So that's what I'm sharing with you. So I, I went in my office. I had this chair, still do. And I sat down. And it was like the Spirit said to me, or I heard it within my inner self, Constance. It's not about money, it's about mission. And so what the Spirit was saying with, to me, paraphrasing in real time, girlfriend, it's not about you getting all this money so you can buy everything you want, but it's money with a mission, money with a purpose. What are you going to do with the money when money comes to you? So I sat down and I wrote some things that I was going to do. Of course, I was going to tithe. I was going to help my mentor in Africa and help him to pay for digging wells for clean water you know there were so many other things that I wanted to do I wanted to really help uh, women from really um, um, difficult dysfunctional backgrounds and give them free coaching and counseling etc 
So that was my thought. So the spirit was what? Aligning me that is it's, it's not just about you getting some more money. It's about money with the purpose, money uh, with the vision. And so after that, I'm like, okay, I got that. It took me maybe a week or two to really get that. And I'm going to say to you, I can't give you a timeline. I don't have you a get rich quick scheme or or a get rich quick now. Now that may happen to you because that's, as I said, everybody has their own individualized, personalized blueprint, pathway. But I wanted it to change my subconscious. I wanted it to change my core beliefs so that if I wanted to manifest another $100,000 in two months, that belief or that success system would already be in me. So the second thing the Spirit said to me was, be still. And boy, was that hard for me. I was antsy. My mind was all over the place. So I began going in my office again in that same chair, reading, reading uh, bios, reading the Bible, reading anything on the internet on prosperity, abundance, wealth. So I was reading it, I was saturating myself in it, I was living in it, I was reading scriptures. Uh, not church, but what does God say about abundance and wealth? And I realized that the Spirit said, wealth and increase is mine. Abundance and well-being is my divine birthright. That there were avalanches of abundance that were waiting to manifest in my life. So what was God doing? God was transforming, shifting, and changing my core beliefs. Because remember, all prosperity is inside out, and he had to come through my core beliefs. So I might have done that for about a week. I was getting anxious, Lord. I don't see anything changing. But let me give you a powerful principle. Never be moved by outside appearances. Because God was behind the scenes rearranging and working out things for my behalf. But I had to I had to transform and change my own thinking, feeling, and being on the inside. So I did that. And then the next thing I felt led to do was to speak out scriptures and or affirmations. What am I doing? I am aligning myself with wealth and with prosperity. I haven't taken any action yet. And so I began to find scriptures and I began to speak them out loud because I know that every word, every faith-filled word that you speak has the truth already built in it. And when you send your words out, you're sending out vibrations and light vibrations will come back to you. That's why you should never say, I'm broke. Because every time you say I'm broke, it keeps you in the broke vibration. Because you cannot get something new in an old vibration. So I cho chose scripture and mantras and affirmations that align with me. And I spoke them out every single day. What was God doing? Aligning me with the success systems uh, that I needed to flow in and tap into. So I would say stuff like, um, uh, I am whole, healed, and abundant. Uh, avalanches of abundance come to me under grace in perfect ways. God came that I might have abundance and have it more abundantly. Wealth and riches is my birthright. Can you feel that just by me saying that? I would say that every day with as much faith as as I could. So here I am. God has me sitting down, being still, meditating on, because you know that is profit in stillness, meditating on wealth and riches. And then the Spirit has me speaking it out. I'm already clear that is money with the purpose. And then the next thing I felt led to do was begin to see it, begin to visualize. We know that your subconscious is most impacted by your images and your visualization with elevated emotion because emotion and, and, and feelings fuel, I got that out, fuel and add fire to, you know, your visualization. So I saw myself going to my mentor saying, here's $10,000. 
to dig some of those wells in Africa. I saw myself driving my new Mercedes. I saw myself being able to help people. And so I saw it. I felt it. I, I, I saw what I was wearing. It was on the inside of me. I, I was um, marinated in it like you would a steak. I was saturated in it. I was smothered in it. I embodied it and brought it into the nowness of my life. If you haven't heard my video on um, reprogramming your subconscious, when you get through listening to this, make sure you go back. And so I did that every day. And then I was radically grateful in advance for what my five senses could not even see, feel, or touch. But I'm, I'm on this fifth dimension realm. I'm not going to get all into that, but there's a third dimension, which is what we live in, and then there's that fifth dimension realm. But I began to thank, praise God, thank you for money. I mean, wasn't anything happening. So you see, I hadn't taken any action yet. Then one day, as I was meditating, I felt led to, hmm, Constance, you, you need to write a module or a lesson or an outline on self-esteem and employment or self-esteem and your choices you got to realize that i'm a therapist so i have been doing support groups with women uh was in private practice etc and so i just began organizing that not seeing anything not feeling anything and then one day because god is always behind the scenes working I got a phone call from a friend who said, Constance, I know this lady in Dublin, Georgia, Cynthia Barnes. I'm going to give a shout out to Cynthia. What's up, Cynthia? You know you opened some big doors for me. God used you. And so she said, Constance, oh, we need a speaker to come down here and speak on self-esteem and dressing for success. And I'm like, dressing for success? That ain't my forte, but I went anyway. Because you got to remember, when you're in the middle of... Um, of a crisis, you're not engaged in the problem, you're looking for the opportunities. So I prepared, I went, I drove down this two hours away, I spoke, I don't even really felt like I did my best. And afterwards she said, before you go back to Atlanta, let me take you to lunch. We went to lunch and then she said, I am the director of this big manpower program and I have $100,000 that I need to give to someone and I really like what you said. I love the way you engage with the audience. I love your credentials, your experience and your background. She said, are you interested? I said to myself, am I interested? I started to get up and run around the restaurant but I was trying to be cool y'all. And so she said, I can give it to you for $99,000 and not bid it out. And then I'll give you the other 100000 in expenses. And you know what I said? How can I sign on the dotted line? Long story short, that was my first manifestation of many $100,000 deals. So, I know respect a person. God wants the same thing for you. It's inside out. I don't have your specific pathway, but some of the things that I shared with you will help you. Number one, you're co-creating with God. You're not by yourself. Number two, you need to find out what you're going to do with your money. What is your why? Make a plan. Write it down how you're going to invest. Number three, you got to meditate. You got to be still, study, reprogram your subconscious, your mind, your thinking around money. Number four, you got to see it before it happens with elevated emotions. Number five, you got to speak out faith filled words around your intention. And lastly, you got to be grateful. So, you know, it is the will of God. And by the grace of God, I have been successful for 20, 21 years. I started in 1999. I know about money, success, and business. I told somebody, you don't come to me for knowledge. You come to me for wisdom. Knowledge is somebody who's reading in a book. But I've been living this lifestyle for decades. So if you really like this video, um, scroll down and you can hear more of my teaching. If you're looking for a strategic success coach, then I'm your girl. I coach people on all continents, celebrities, 
everybody else and I'm going to teach you how to reprogram your spirit and your and your subconscious and then give you specific strategies to move you from where you are to where you desire to be. I'm not a novice. Um, how can I say it? By the grace of God, I'm living this lifestyle. So grateful. Don't forget to tell your friends and your co-workers about my channel. Leave me a comment. I hope you've been blessed by this. Enjoy your day. And as I say, the best is yet to come. God bless you.